There's the house where I grew up, where Aunt May and Uncle Ben raised me like their own son. It hasn't changed a bit, and coming here is still like coming home. But Vanna White? What have you done with my aunt? Oh, Peter, how you carry on. <laughs> Hi, Aunt May. You are early, though. Hope you don't mind entertaining yourself while I make sure the pie I have in the oven doesn't singe. Not at all. Hmm, looks like Aunt May's been going through the family album. Wow, I haven't seen these pictures in years. Gwen Stacy, my first real love. People always thought we'd be the ones getting married. So did I. But the Green Goblin found out that I was Spider-Man and used Gwendy to lure me into a trap. And even though I did everything I could, she was killed when I tried to save her. Betty, Gwen, Mary Jane. Is it right to do it again? To risk people's lives by letting them get close to me? Yeah! Peter, why so jumpy? Do you always flinch away from people who love you? No, but maybe I should. Now, Peter, how can people show you they love you if you keep them at a distance? Yeah, I guess you're right. By the way, why were you looking through these old photos? Oh, I always get a bit nostalgic when important changes are about to happen. Why, um, w w what do you mean? <laughs> really, Peter, all senior citizens aren't senile. Anna and I have seen this coming for some time. Now I'd better go and see if those blueberries are burning. Oh, hi, Mary Jane. I was just, um, thinking about you. Peter, you won't believe the gift I just got from Willie Smith. It's the most beautiful wedding gown I've ever seen, and it's an original. I wish I could show it to you, but you know the groom shouldn't see the bride in her gown before the wedding. Speaking of which, I'd better call Judge Spencer, Uncle Spencer, and confirm our permit for having the ceremony on the City Hall steps. I'll see you later at the License Bureau. Oh, Peter, I'm so excited! Yeah. Me too. D dear Lee, beloved, we are gathered here to take snaps of Spider-Man getting married. The Daily Bugle will pay a fortune for them. That's insane! It's the American way. Die. Take one of us all together, Spencer. Yes, we're so proud of our nephew, Peter. I'm really glad you can make it, Uncle Ben. <laughs> hey, you didn't think a little thing like being dead would keep me away, did you? <laughs> if you'll slip the ring on the bride's finger now... The ring? But I just had it. Where? That's okay, Flash. I've got it right here. Gwen? I just had to say goodbye, Peter. So, goodbye. Forever. Gwen! Don't! D don't! Don't do it! Having second thoughts, Tiger? Wanna go talk them over in the limo? Um, no. Th that's okay. Excellent! Then if there's anyone who has reason why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, let them speak now, or... Wait! Spider sense is tingling, but what? Aw, oh, jeez! Raven, Hobgoblin, and all the rest! They've captured the good guys, and now they're coming after... Me? No, it's not me they want. It's... Mary Jane! Run! But Peter, why? Why? 
Can't you see what's happening? They want to kill you! I know, but you're Peter. You wouldn't drop me or let me be hurt in any way. Would you? Mary Jane, I... I can't stop them! Get out of here! For the love of heaven, please! Run! Run! Oh, Lord. What am I doing? What am I getting her into? One slip up, one stupid mistake, someone discovering my secret identity. MJ, if I lost you, if that ever happened. Remember, Regine's on the 14th. It won't be a party without you. I'll be there. Hey, lady. Need a ride to the airport? Really, Bruce? Don't you ever think of how I might feel? I think about it all the time. Hop in. You're incorrigible. Still, I'd rather not be alone right now. I... I have to make a decision. I have to make a decision, Gwendy. I swore you'd be my girl, always, and here I am about to marry someone else. But I love Mary Jane, of course I loved you too. And you died because of it. But it was your choice to be with me. Wasn't it? You never complained. Oh, Gwen, I don't know what to do. What's right? What's fair? Help me. Anna showed me the gown, Mr. Smith. It's stunning. Thank you. That's right. I taught Parker everything he knows. And I'm pleased as punch. I don't understand. I called Peter, but there was no answer. Same with Mary Jane. Do you think they got cold feet? I don't know, dear. I thought Parker was made of sterner stuff. Sorry I'm late, Tiger. I had to make sure I was perfect for you today. Tiger? I'm afraid Peter isn't here, dear. He... he's not? Gosh, MJ, I I'm sure there's a reason for... Mary Jane! Sorry, I'm running behind. I, uh, had a little trouble getting dressed. And wall crawling with my shoes on. Well, being late is fashionable, so I forgive you. If you're ready now. Lady, I've never been more ready for anything in my life. Do you, Mary Jane Watson, take this man, Peter Parker, to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health? To love and cherish for as long as you both shall live? Pete, I thought you'd forgotten our date for a late lunch. But, but Mary Jane, I... Forget it, Peter Parker. I'm not taking no for an answer. We've got a lot to discuss. You should have been here hours ago. You could be lying somewhere hurt or even... I'm a little late, huh? Hey, you are right, Tiger? I was so worried. Dinner's ruined and... Hey, where were you? Darn it, I was scared, worried to death about you. Mary Jane Watson. Surprise, Tiger. You shouldn't be. I haven't seen you in a long while, so I thought I'd drop by. I'm in the mood to celebrate tonight. I just got a raise at my modeling gig. That's great news, pretty lady. Tell me about it. Why don't you slip into something a little less comfortable and come out to dinner with me? My treat. You don't have to ask me twice. I still can't believe you're really going to hang up your webs. Talk about a change of lifestyle. It's funny. I don't even know how you became Spider-Man in the first place. You never asked. You didn't want to know about that part of my life, remember? You were afraid it would bring you down. Well, you don't have to be afraid anymore. I guess I deserved that. I'm sorry. Peter? I'm asking now. Peter? Back here. Boy, am I glad to see you. 
Most men are, Tiger. Hope these clothes will do. I grabbed the first things I could find. Didn't even bother to see if they went together. I'm sure they'll be fine. You okay? Banged up my arm a little. It's real sore, but that's par for the course. Yeah, guess so. Uh, Mary Jane, thanks for coming. No sweat, Tiger. Don't mention it. Ever. I'm just glad you're... back? Go ahead, Tiger. Sleep. You've earned it. Sometimes life's tough. Even without Spider-Man. I will take this man, this very special man, to be the most important thing in my life. Because that's exactly what I realized he already is. Mary Jane! Look, MJ, I'm sorry. Peter, I didn't hear you come in. But then, I always liked the strong, silent type. Um, I don't want to push it, MJ, but aren't you mad because I ran out on you the other night to look for Flash? Of course not. Here, have some lemon pledge. You're having a party tonight. I've already invited everybody. Now wait a- You might skip out on your old friend MJ, but on half a dozen? MJ, are you sure you're not mad? Now, Peter, you know I never get mad. I get even. And here's extra fabric for my costume. I thought I'd used it all up when I repaired it a while back. You should have seen it. This nut saber tooth ripped the front off. One inch closer and he'd have disemboweled me. How about them nicks, huh? MJ, why do I get the feeling you've suddenly decided to change the subject? Oh wow, I'd forgotten about these. What is it, Pete? Something good or something bad? Bit of both. Some old shots of Felicia Hardy, the black cat. What a fiasco that relationship was. To be honest, Tiger, I was never really happy when you were seeing the young lady. Not that I'd lecture you on how to run your love life. Oh, heavens no. But she never really seemed your type. Oh, sure, she had a couple of outstanding attributes, if you like that sort of thing. MJ, you sound positively catty. Maybe even jealous? But don't worry about it. She's a part of my life that I've given up. Just like I'm giving up Spider-Man. Before I run out of dishes. Robbie, these are my next-door neighbors, Candy, Randy, and Bambi. Girls, this is Joe Robertson, my boss at the Bugle. You're lucky, Pete. When I was your age, my next-door neighbor was an 80-year-old tuba player. Oh, girls, let me introduce you to Joe's son and daughter-in-law, Randolph and Amanda. Randy, Candy, Randy, 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 Bambi, Mandy, Randy, Mandy, Candy, Mandy, Bambi. Dandy. No! There's danger! For pretty's sake, why now? No, oh, no. Uh, MJ, keep an eye on things for a minute. Gotta hit the bathroom. Hold it. I swear the woman reads minds. Most people don't announce when they're going to the bathroom, but you feel compelled to because you're sneaking off again, right? Uh, now what makes you think that? Your whole body gets stiff in the vein in your temple throbs every time you suddenly decide to. Change to you-know-who. MJ, it's an emergency. It always is. Like looking for Flash was an emergency, or maybe you're concerned you're keeping the Sandman waiting. No, Sandman's okay these days. Everything's coming up roses! But what? Peter, how dare you come swinging in my window dressed like that? I only hope the creeps don't take Spider-Man's intervention as more fuel for the FIRE! But Peter, that's your apartment! Tell me about it! Stay back! Clear this street! Oh, Peter, I'm so sorry. It wasn't much, MJ, but it was mine. But don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for the punks who did it. Wonderful. Look at my costume. I'll never get the soot out. What am I supposed to do now, Mary Jane? Well, first thing, Tiger, is to tear yourself away from your suit and see what you can salvage. It took me years to get all this stuff, Mary Jane. And I can remember the exact circumstances around each one. Really? I always thought you furnished it all during one lost, drunken weekend. Just came, Pete. Say, now we have a use for all that extra paint we bought. But well, luck. 
Everyone keeps telling me how lucky I am. In the meantime, I don't even have a decent place to live. I, uh, suppose you could, uh, crash in my place for a while. Hey, Spider-Man! Out, miss! Get going! I'm gone! Oh, Peter, this man tried to kill me! Thank heavens the police came as quickly as they did! And Spider-Man was here! You know how dangerous he is! Give me a break, huh, MJ? I hope those three hoodlums just know we're not hassling you, trying to get you to drop charges. Actually, I'm not going to press charges, no. I felt that giving him a break would give them a better chance at a law-abiding life than jail would, and... Peter, they're not buying it. Do my eyes deceive me? Can that possibly be the ever-delightful, ever-ravishing Mary Jane Watson who's sitting on my stoop? Hand the compliments, Oswald. You're late. Late? Don't tell me you've forgotten about our date. Date? My, my. I'll bet you spend hours practicing those snappy one-word comebacks. Don't you remember that I promised to help you paint your apartment today? We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we're going to get that place back in shape after your recent fire. At last! This place is finally beginning to take shape! Yeah, all we needed was a few coats of paint and a bulldozer! And do you, Peter, take this woman, Mary Jane, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Mary Jane? Top of the morning, Pete. I was on my way to an early fashion shoot for Kinsley LTD, and I thought I'd take you to breakfast. Though, judging from the aromas in here, you've been making your own smoked sausages. That's from the firebomb damage, MJ. My landlady, Miss Muggins, said that if I don't get it fixed by tonight, she'll evict me. Guess that little bit of painting we did wasn't enough, huh? Still, things don't look too bad. Though, some of your knickknacks are beyond help. Like this melted thing. Yuck, it's still gooey. Uh, look, MJ, I appreciate the invite, but I've really got to work on this apartment problem. Oh, sure, Pete. I'll, um, catch you later, okay? Guess I'd better start packing. Huh? Mrs. Muggins? Parker, that redhead you hang out with left you a note. Here! Sorry, Peter. I just couldn't let them throw you out. Hope you don't hate me too much. Love, MJ. Oh no, she didn't! She did! Everything's fixed! Carpenter's finished an hour ago. What's the matter, Parker? Your fat's been pulled out of the fire for you. How come you look sick? Oh no, Mrs. Muggins, you're wrong. I feel swell. Just... swell. You really called the Avengers. That's right. Didn't you believe me when I said I was quitting the web biz? It's over just as soon as I clear Flash Thompson and find the real Hobgoblin. That's wonderful, Tiger. Is it? I sometimes feel like I'm just copping out. Don't be ridiculous. No one appointed you this city's guardian angel. You've shouldered that responsibility long enough. It's high time you got around to living your own life. Yeah, I guess so. I just wish I could be sure I'm doing the right thing. You are, Peter. Trust me. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's late and you have to be getting back to work, right? Hi, MJ. Sorry I'm late. No sweat, Tiger. Your mailman kept me company while I was waiting. You're kidding, right? You'll never know. Mary Jane isn't my girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. If I tell myself that enough times, maybe I'll start to believe it. So that was a hit movie, huh? Pete, old boy, you need to let your hair down a bit. It's guys like you who keep shrinks in business. I'm sorry, MJ, I just don't think some guy with a machine gun mowing down people is a good time. I hate this whole macho movie shtick. Come on, Tiger. Let's sit down to the Palladium and dance that frown away. I'm inside Mary Jane's apartment when she arrives. She doesn't say anything. I don't let her get a word in edgewise. She's looking through an old photo album. Shots of her and me and Harry and Gwen and Liz and Flash. High school. The good old days. She wonders what's happened to those happy kids in the picture. I was so useless. So helpless. People died again. 
twice in the same day, if only. Stop it. You're wearing a hole in my carpet. You're just one guy, Peter. Spider-Man or no. There is nothing you could do. Hey, Peter, don't do this. I have to. I gotta get away from the pain. It's a good kiss. It makes things worse. I see horror in her eyes. I forgot the rules. I crossed the line. I forgot to tell myself. Forgot to believe. Mary Jane isn't my girlfriend. I've just ruined a perfectly good lie. It just doesn't stop. Nuts. I'm not ready for this. Your aunt told me when you were getting in. Hey, Pete. Are we still friends? I could use a friend right now. Guess I can manage that. Welcome back to your world, Tiger. I hold her tight. I close my eyes. We make the pain go away. She knows better than anyone else what she's getting into, and she still wants me. How could I possibly turn down someone like that? I do. Nice apartment. You've been redecorated by a pro, I'd guess. Hey, Peter. Remember when I'd take your pictures for you? I sure beat an automatic timer, didn't I? Lots of things are more fun with two people. Look, Felicia, I don't want to chit-chat right now. What are your plans? Where will you go until your apartment gets cleaned up? A hotel? A hotel? I'm not made of money, Peter. Maybe I'll stay here. I don't get you, Felicia. You always hated this place before. You never even called me Peter before. I've changed. I don't run from the real world anymore. I've grown up the past couple of months. You should see how much I've grown up. Come on, Felicia, knock it off, okay? What's the matter? You can lift a bus and you can't remove one little cat? Maybe you don't really want to. Hmm? Peter? You home? Oh, cripes! Oh! Hi, Tiger. Hey, you're beat red. Peter, I can't keep this smile pasted on forever. Do you something. <coughs> I, uh, I don't know if you've ever been formally introduced, Cat. This is Mary Jane, MJ, the Black Cat. Oh, yes, your actress-slash-model friend. Didn't I see you in something recently? Compromising positions, wasn't it? No, dear, that wasn't me. But it might have been you. Now, now. Peter, remind her that I'm the cat here. MJ, could we talk a second? Certainly, Peter. Shall I take a number? Get in line? MJ, what's with you? Peter, it's none of my business, but frankly, I don't like the way she's pulling your strings. That's ridiculous. You make it sound like a matter of beck and call. Peter, I just thought of someone who can help us. Let's go. Great, I'm with you. Look, MJ, what did you want to see me about? Nothing. I just wanted to chat. I like you, okay, Tiger? I need a shower. What you need, Petey, is some cheering up. Mary Jane! Cute buns, Tiger. Pete's probably asleep. Good thing I still have my passkey to his apartment. Black cat? What are you? Oh, you're Molly Joe, right? We met the other day. Pete's asleep. Molly Joe? What is she doing here? Peter, I'm talking to you. Uh, uh, you know, I get that general impression. Phone, Peter. Somebody named Aunt May. Peter? Peter? Are you there? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. My apartment blew up. I'll give you a taxi fare to a hotel. What, Aunt May? I... No, Aunt May. We're, uh, having breakfast. Breakfast, darling? No, thanks. It's probably catnip. Why, sure, Aunt May. I'd love to come over for lunch. Nice haircut. You use gardening shears or a sharp rock? I'll be right over, Aunt May. Sheesh. My Ayata. Old JJJ would swallow a cigar if he could see me now. But what the hey? I'll slip in tonight and get my stuff from the torch, and no one will be the wiser. In the meantime, 
I might as well enjoy myself. And brother, there's a lot to enjoy around here. California phooey! <laughs> Poor baby, you must have been the world's first sunburnt superhero. <laughs> Very funny, MJ. Believe me, it was no laughing matter to me. Every little movement was excruciating. And as Spider-Man, I do a lot of moving. Here, Swifty. Messenger dropped this off. It's probably Publisher's Clearinghouse to tell me I owe them a million dollars. We've had fun, Pete. At least I have. Enclosed is a photo of me to warm your nights. I guess all those photos I took of you in action for the Bugle gave me lots of practice. And if there's one thing I believe in, it's keeping in practice. By the way, don't show this picture to your red-headed friend, Myra Jean, unless, of course, you want to drive her mad with jealousy. All my love, Felicia. Cute picture. She must have been very chilly posing for it. MJ, I'd kind of like to be alone for a while, okay? I must be nuts! Mary Jane, hold it! That's right, that's right. Every time you go to pieces, little Mary Jane's supposed to patch you back together. Luckily for you, I always carry a bottle of Elmer's glue with me for just such occasions. Now, let's discuss just how you feel about Felicia Hardy. Felicia who? Then by the power vested in me by the sovereign state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. dreamed about being carried over the threshold, but with one hand, that's class. Of course, doing other newlywed things like unpacking and thinking about what to fix for dinner are going to seem sort of mundane after that honeymoon we had. Wow, what an adventure. I know, it sure made me think a bit. I mean, after two weeks in that fabulous villa, what the heck are we doing in a dump like this? That's easy, Tiger. We're doing exactly what we'd be doing any place. Living happily ever after. <laughs>